Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives, Mary Brown is perplexed by fans' interest in her family. Mary Brown, star of Sister Wives, has been in the spotlight for a while, but she's not quite sure why people are so fascinated with her family. There isn't a shortage of drama or mayhem in Sister Wives, even after 18 seasons. Mary, though, accepts it as a fact of life in the Brown household. Mary Brown finds it puzzling that fans of Sister Wives care so much about their lives. Mary Brown has been a cast member of Sister Wives since the show's 2010 TLC launch. Even though the relationships have developed and evolved over time, Brown supporters continue to tune in to follow the team. Mary claims that a lot of her followers inquire about Coyote Pass. It was not what she had anticipated. The property was a major source of conflict between Cody Brown and his wives. Many of the women didn't think they were getting their fair share. I had no idea Coyote Pass was attracting so much attention. In a recent Sarah Fraser show broadcast, Mary made the admission. It's funny how people visit there to snap photos. That's funny. I had no idea it was that significant. Sarah naturally wanted to know more about the condition of the property. Mary, meanwhile, was unwilling to go into much detail. She most likely signed an NDA, promising not to reveal specific details about the personal life of the Brown family until the program addressed them. There are certain benefits to becoming a reality TV star. However, Mary and her friend Jen both acknowledged that they frequently attract unwelcome attention from onlookers. Fans of Sister Wives are aware that Mary and Jen own a Utah Inn. Inquisitive viewers who wish to stay at the inn are apparently welcomed, but they also get inquisitive questions about the Brown family from sly viewers. Several listeners felt sympathy for the women after hearing the podcast episode. Many agreed that some viewers of reality television are unaware of appropriate boundaries. Mary also agreed that the series can't last indefinitely. Eventually, these devoted followers will have to go on with their life. A show can never last indefinitely. Correct? You also can't foresee it, though. You're aware? We never would have imagined that we would have continued this far. Do you understand what I mean? We have, too, she said. Have you listened to Mary Brown's podcast appearances with Sarah Fraser? How did you feel about the knowledge she imparted? Post your own ideas and viewpoints in the comments section. Mary Brown of Sister Wives demanded closure throughout the breakup. Mary Brown, actress of Sister Wives, seemed happy with her choice to divorce Cody. She did, however, recently acknowledge that throughout their breakup, she made demands for closure. The majority of Sister Wives viewers concur that Cody Brown's triple divorces were not amicable. In fact, a lot of people were upset to see him treat Mary so badly and ignore her. What was worse was that he felt free to criticize her publicly in confessionals. It came to the point eventually that Mary insisted on having a talk. Check out what she said. Supporters could see that Cody and Mary Brown's marriage was disintegrating right in front of their eyes on screen. The situation appeared more dire than the previous year with the catfish incident and the formal divorce finalized so Cody could take custody of Robin's children. Mary, though, claims that Cody never really seemed to want to talk about their circumstances. Rather, she was forced to initiate a discussion with him. I wanted to talk about certain topics and bring them up, and I had the chance. And then there were instances where he seemed to be saying some truly absurd things. And I asked myself, really? Truly? Comma, she questioned when she appeared on the Sarah Fraser podcast. You know, until that year, you and I had not had those specific conversations. I had heard tangents, I had heard temper tantrums, and stuff like that. The TLC personality went on, he wasn't saying those things to me. Mary went on to state that she was enraged to watch Cody make derogatory remarks about her and sister wife's confessionals. But he wouldn't say them to her face, for some reason. At least Mary Brown is grateful for her son, Leon. Her marriage to Cody Brown wasn't a complete nightmare. She does, however, feel as though she lost a lot of years of her life with him. 
I have conflicting feelings about it. Gosh damn it, is what I sometimes think when I'm in a more pessimistic frame of mind, for lack of a better phrase. Why couldn't we have solved this problem long ago? Instead of dating in her 50s, I could have dated in my 40s, she said in the interview. The sister-wives actress said she has no regrets about divorcing at the end of the conversation. How do you feel about Mary's request for a resolution? Leave a comment with your own thoughts. The sister-wives Christine Brown, 51, treats her husband David to a lap dance, causing second-hand embarrassment for the fans. The Sunday night episode of Sister Wives, Christine and David's Wedding, the television special about Christine and David Woolley's marriage, concluded. The ceremony and reception, which were also included in Part 2, were filled with enjoyable and poignant moments. David, 59, was told to take a seat when a chair was brought into the center of the dance floor, toward the end of the evening. Attendees formed a circle around Jared, a man David regards as a son, and he started to give him a lap dance. Christine, 51, claimed that after the amusing incident, Jared motioned for her to take a turn. The sister-wives actor continued to straddle her new spouse, massaging her hands across his chest while he clutched her behind. During the special's broadcast, Christine revealed in a confessional that she had glanced across at her ex-sister wife, Janelle Brown, who appeared stunned at the moment. Christine continued by saying that she didn't care that the moment might have been inappropriate, especially after understanding her mother and children were watching her. It was during a confessional that David's daughter and son-in-law made a joke about how hard it was to believe she had been raised so religiously for so many years. Some viewers on Reddit thought the moment was too much for their guests to be at their wedding. Anyone uncomfortable at Christine's dance, remarked one individual, adding, Sorry when you make your guest uncomfortable, it's inappropriate. I felt like I was embarrassing her secondhand the most. By then, I believe she had consumed a bit too much alcohol to make an informed decision, another person said. OMG, as I saw the wedding, I thought the same thing. Finally, in her fifties, she's stitching, sick, her wild oats, exclaimed a third. A fourth person said, I know Christine is awkward, but I love seeing her happy. A fifth added, Janelle, her kids, and me, thought it was odd. I like Christine, but I had to fast forward through that part because of secondhand embarrassment, another responded. After Christine and David became engaged in April, they were married in October at the Enchanted Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab, Utah. The couple were married in October after first connecting on a dating app one year earlier. The outdoor wedding was an all day event, with setup starting in the wee hours of the morning and guests arriving in the early afternoon, an insider told the U.S. Sun. Paydon, Christine's son, led her halfway down the aisle for the wedding, her father then took over. Christine and David decided to have their total 16 grandchildren walk down the aisle, instead of the customary bridesmaids and groomsmen. The couple and their officiant were the only ones present at the ceremony. On a wooden platform, the couple exchanged vows in front of their friends and family, creating a moment that will never be forgotten. Over 300 people attended the wedding, according to the insider. We experienced love all day long. It was more than just David's love for me. It was done by all of our visitors. It was an amazing experience. It was the best wedding I could have imagined. It was exciting, enjoyable, and romantic. And that was lovely. Simply put, a wonderful day.